The following video will demonstrate the use of value equations in creating an overlay component to an existing roadway. In this situation we have an existing uh, roadway template that has been created here and what we want to do is add an overlay component that is going to be controlled uh, by a new proposed vertical alignment. The criteria here state that our new overlay component will be defined uh, vertically by this new point control and it will maintain uh, the exact same cross slope as the original surface here. So what we're going to do to begin is uh, we're just going to create a simple uh, just a constrained component here and we're just going to um, quickly put this component out there we're just going to kind of guess at the location for right now and we'll go back and refine that here in just a second. So we're just going to loosely place our points in here <coughs> for our overlay. Do want it to be a, a closed shape, so now we'll click Finish. Alright, to begin with we know that this point here uh, is the one that we're going to define vertically with a new, um, with a point control which will be the new proposed vertical alignment. So let's go ahead and edit this point. Um, we're going to give it a name, call it Overlay uh, Origin. <clears throat> so we're going to constrain this point to the backbone origin. Um, horizontally we want to constrain that with a value of zero. Um, vertically doesn't, the vertical constraint does not really matter because we're going to use a, we're going to override that with a point control. So we'll just put something, an even number in there for now. We'll click apply and close. So um, this one is now, although this one is fully constrained right now, we do know that um, we will be overriding that vertical constraint with a point control. Okay, let's uh, move to this next point here. I'm going to edit this point now. We'll give this a name. Uh, we'll just call this one Overlay Inside Lane. Now this one uh, we want to constrain horizontally to inside lane. So we want that point to stay right above the existing inside lane. So let's go down and select that. And we'll give that a value of zero. Now here's where the uh, value equations are going to come into play. <clears throat> because vertically uh, we want this point uh, to maintain, we want it constrained by this overlay origin point, but we want it to match the slope of this existing ground right here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and ensure that we have constrained it to this overlay origin but then we'll go in here and click this equal sign to go into the value equation. Oops. And, excuse me, we do want that to be a slope. Okay, so we want to constrain that using the slope. So we'll go in here using this equal sign. You can see that slope is now selected here. And we want to match the slope from here to the inside lane, we'll click OK and apply and you can see that moves slightly <clears throat> and now this slope is the same as this slope. Oh, it looks like we had the, uh, the uh, value of the horizontal reverted back to what it was. So let's go ahead and just correct that and we'll say OK. So now this is directly uh, over the top of this one, matching the slope. Okay, so now we want to go back in and uh, we want to do the same thing to this point here. So we'll edit this point. And horizontally we want to constrain that point to outside lane here. <clears throat> but we want our slope to be constrained to this overlay inside lane. So that's already set there. But we want to calculate the slope using a value equation. So we'll click the 
equals sine and we want to calculate the slope based on uh, the slope from this inside line point to this outside line point. Click OK. I'm going to set this horizontal uh, constraint to zero and click apply. And it, it moved slightly, so we were pretty close uh, when we first created it. Let's go ahead and close this. And now we can just verify that this works. Um, what we'll do is let's go in um, and just edit this point. Say, for example, um, there's an area where this outside lane, this slope from inside to outside is slightly different. So we'll change that to 0.03. There you go, and you can see that our, our top layer here changes to match this exactly. Another thing that we can do to check it is we can emulate the use of the point control here by deleting both constraints on this overlay origin. We can then move this around, and you can see as we move that up and down that the slopes uh, continue to match.